so when we compare, you know, with the, with the uh, raw oriented database. So even if it will be there, um, uh, data size to probably shrink by by fifty percent at least, more likely, you know, seventy or or eighty percent even after indexing. Um, for heavy and complicated searches, your uh, proxy will will actually work pretty well, and and you will see those benefits. For singleton inserts or singleton updates or singleton queries, it will be, how should I say this, uh, maybe not as visible. Because much of the time may be spent in uh, in uh, going through proxy connectivity from ASC to IQ and back. Where I um, I don't know exactly where is the the the, the, the cutoff, uh, you know, uh, um, number of quiz or number of rows or, or query complexity, but the more complicated the query and the bigger the tables, the bigger benefits of it moving to, to, to IQ. Another viewer is asked, what is the penalty for lots of complex queries, i.e. having to increase Underline underscore enumeration. How is impacted by mixed data? Mixed data means what, uh, what is the mixed data structured and unstructured or Talking about unstructured versus structured. Okay. Well, the the, the, the really good news is that uh, I can now now there were three answers saying the same thing. Uh, reading the um, just that you download the uh, uh, one petabyte audit document. It shows you how the what what were the the, the results of cross search of structured and unstructured. So there is virtually no penalty. And by the way. When data gets indexed in the past, and uh, when unstructured data gets ingested into into IQ, no longer unstructured data. It's unstructured data that that got converted to to uh, to a structured form, and the only thing that is structured is the original blob. But, but we never search blob anyway. Everything else becomes. Uh, 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 Structured data, metadata is effectively structured data, and only kind of really unstructured uh, content becomes the the pure text. So uh, we never thought of a, of a, of a email and and document tables in a, in IQ as a different type of tables. There's different tables, but they're created by by IQ optimizer and and queries and uh, the same way. So whatever you know about uh, uh, this parameter in a structured world applies when you extend it with emails and documents. Someone asks if that's like MPG or BMP files. In how how we process how we have structured data. Compressed in IQ, PG, BMP files. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have done, done a lot of those. That that's a very good question. Uh, so when when um, let's say uh, IQ has lossless compression, as as we all know. So like for example, JPEG or MPEG, where you, you trade off compression for quality. Compression does not have such a trade-off, meaning IQ compression is, is lossless. As a result, uh, interesting, for example, zip file or MPEG file or JPEG file, um, IQ will result in minimal or no compression. Let's say you will you are like you are not likely to see more than maybe percent compression, if any. So hoping for for compression of MPEG or JPEG, you invest it into IQ, it will not happen. Those files which are not 
compressed, like AVI, for example. Oh my goodness, that one compresses easily 50, 60, or, or, or 80 percent, again, depending on what type of uh, data was in it. Because those things, A, for example, comes as a uncompressed. So if BMP came in, as a thumb, whatever compression you, you get with zip, you get with IQ. That's the rule of thumb. Again, for unstructured data, for emails, for documents, for movies. The data is totally different story as, as we all know. This answers the we done actually yes. probably four or five years ago the test called Hollywood compared we, we ingested uh, uh, tens of terabytes of uh, um, various unstructured data like uh, Microsoft Office PDFs uh, images AVIs <coughs> uh, zip files uh, we even ingested uh, half a terabyte single file. So a file which was 500 mega, uh, sorry, 500 gigabytes, terabyte big, invested, and then we obviously measured compression. And at, at that point in time, you can actually get some reasonably good um, compression numbers. Again, it's heavily data driven, but at least you are talking about what to expect. And uh, MPEGs and JPEGs, they they will compress very little. So will zip but their documents will compress pretty well, you know, 20% less, 50% less, depending on data, and those native uh, raw files will compress really well. I hope so. The key thing is it's lossless compression again. So if you in your high-quality image from the camera, it compresses pretty well, but any data, we don't like JPEG or MPEG. And we have here IQ supports native XML data type like DB or Oracle. Uh, that's a good question, and at this point, I would rather say um, instead of giving you a, uh, there is some support uh, for XML native data types. Um, I don't know how it compares uh, um, with Oracle and DB2, so I. I we cannot answer. All I know is that we can throw in those XMLs if you if you have them. We can them into into IQ as either XML uh, 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 data or the blob data. So way you will be able to store it and manage it and get this XMLness of of support. Um, me to answer, you know, and, and compare historical or DB2. Okay. We're not showing any other questions at this time. Uh, we'll sign off here again. If there are any other questions, any other information, we're going to dig in deep into the topics discussed here. Do feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email address is presented on the screen here. And again, you just reply to any of the notifications associated with today's webcast or any of their webcasts to reach me as well. They should be found at mlogica.com. I encourage you all to join our, our DIN group uh, following this link here. You can also search for us. All right, I'm not showing any other questions at this time, so I think we'll be wrapping up today's session. I want to one again for attending. You got all the feedback interest in our topics. Next web will be November 17th and we'll be digging into rep server. There's some useful performance tips and tricks there. I know. Mark Allender. Okay. Hey, Sug, the partner from this. I hope everyone enjoyed our time here. And, and goodbye.